Hi friends, welcome to .NET Mo. This is my first video in the series of C# -sharp Beginners tutorial. In this video, we will discuss C# -sharp introduction and in this video, we will create our first C# -sharp program to print hello world in the output window. Before starting this video or course, I would like to ask a favor. If you find this video helpful, please thumbs up this video and if you want more videos like this please subscribe this channel dot add more so let's get started c sharp is a programming language from microsoft it is simple general purpose object oriented it comes with dot net platform or dot net framework in dot net framework there are 30 to 40 languages in these languages c sharp is the most popular language among dot net developer community it would be easy to learn for those who have experience in C++ and Java because its syntax is most similar to C++ and Java. Without getting into the further details and history of the language, let's create our first program in C Sharp. For that, let me open my Visual Studio. This is my Visual Studio 2013. You can download and install Visual Studio Express version which is free for study purpose. First of all, let me create a project. For that, go to File, then New, then Project. Or you can use the shortcut Ctrl Shift N. Click on this and then you will get another pop-up window like this click on visual c sharp then select console application because to learn any language it would be better to start with console applications in here you can type your project name i will type it as hello world and then from here you can select the location where you want to save your application for that you can click on this browse button here and select the folder where you want to save this application so I want to save this project inside my project folder so I will copy the file path from the file explorer like this and then paste the location here so this is a easy way to address your file location then we have solution name by default it would be same as project name if you want to change the solution name you can do that and we will discuss what does this solution means in the upcoming tutorials for now click on ok so here we have the first brand new c sharp console application in visual studio in the right panel you can see the items inside our project and this panel is known as solution explorer and it starts with solution hello world inside the solution you can see our project hello world inside a solution we can have any number of projects like this so solution is a group of projects inside the project we have properties references app.config program.cs we will discuss these properties references app.config in upcoming tutorials for now keep an eye on this file program.cs by default there are some lines written in c sharp language here you might have noted that the file has the extension cs which stands for c sharp so all these c sharp files has the extension cs in the first five lines program imported namespaces from dotnet library if you don't know what a namespace means i can give you a brief idea of namespace but in the upcoming tutorial we will discuss about namespace in depth namespace is a logical group of programming elements like class interface enums delegates variables etc inside our project here we have a namespace hello underscore world it contains a class program 
with a function main. Like in C programming, static main function is the starting point of execution in C sharp programming. We don't need to invoke this main function from somewhere. It will automatically call this main function inside program class. Whatever written inside this method will be executed by default. So inside this method, I will write the code for showing hello world message in the output window. For that, console dot write line. Inside this function, we will pass our message hello world. When you hover mouse on this console, you can see that it's a class inside system namespace. We have already imported system namespace here. And write line is a function inside this console class. Whatever written here will be displayed in the output window. Now we have to run this application. When we run an application, First of all, it will build the solution. If build is successful, it will create an exe file in the project location. Then it will run that exe. That's what happening when we run an application. Now let me demonstrate that. Right click on project, then click on open folder in file explorer. So this is where we saved our project. Here you can see a bin folder, open that, then open debug folder. Here we have three files and we are going to build this application. Let me keep this debug folder and Visual Studio side by side. So now I am going to build this application. For that right click on project, then click on build here. Here we have the output window showing build messages, build starter and it created an exe hello world.exe or build is successful. As I said, here we have the exe. Let me maximize the Visual Studio. Now let me run this application. In order to run an application, you can click on the start button here or you can use the shortcut F5. Now you have seen that console window blinking, it opened and closed immediately. It is because we have only one line to execute. It should print hello world in the output window. After this line, we don't have any line to execute, so it closed. In order to add a delay while displaying the output, we can do something like this. Console dot read key here read key is an another function inside console class it will read a key from our keyboard so we can hold our console window as long as we don't hit a key from our keyboard now let me run this application again click on the start button here so here we have the output hello world message is printed in the output window successfully. Now if you click a key from your keyboard, it will close the console window. That's it. Now we had a successful build now. So there should be an exe for this build last build process. Each successful build will replace the old exe. If I want to see the output again, I don't want to run this application from Visual Studio. It will repeat the process of building, replacing exe and run that exe. Instead, you can just go to the debug folder, then open the exe. Right click on it and click on open. So here we have the output. If I press enter, it will close the output window. That's it. Now let me talk about this project a little more. As I told you, these five lines are used to import namespaces from .NET Framework library. In order to print hello world in the output window, we don't need this much namespaces here. We need system namespace only. Now I can delete these extra four lines here. 
or there is a better way to delete this extra namespace import in Visual Studio. Right click, then organize usings, then click on unused usings. So it will remove the extra usings from our project. It will keep our project concise and simple. Also, we don't need this string array in our main function. Let me remove that. Now let me run this application again to verify whether application is working after this much changes. Click on start. So here we have the output. So it is working fine. Now let me undo the previous change that is removing these string arguments here. As I told you this main function is invoked or called by default by this application. So how we can pass values into this string argument here? We can pass values into this string argument using command line argument. Let me show you that. For that I'm going to replace this line with a for loop. Here is the iterator variable and here we are going to pass the array length. I hope you know the basics of for loop inside a programming language. It is used to iterate values inside an array or a collection of values. So here we are going to display each of the value inside the array. For that we are going to use write line function like we have used it for printing hello world in the output window. And here we are going to pass values from our array using index. Now let me run this application. You can see nothing in the output window because we have not passed any value for this parameter here. So how do we pass values into this string array? For that right click on project then click on properties here then go to debug here then inside this command line arguments option you can pass values into this string array so i'm going to pass three words here welcome to dot net mob that's it now let me run this application for that click on the start button here now we have the output showing welcome to and .NET mob in different light. That's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please comment your feedbacks and questions in comment box below. Let me know do I have to continue with this C Sharp beginners tutorial. Please be subscribed to .NET mob for more awesome videos like this. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. Have a nice day. Bye.